One of the most common things that we see online these days is this discussion that young people are not investing into the stock market, young people are not getting into real estate and other of these investments, and if they're not going to invest in assets, then they'll never be rich. Now, this is a line peddled by a lot of finance influencers, LinkedIn people, etc. And this is an extremely dangerous mentality to have. And this actually, if you start getting into stocks or real estate or any of the other investments to get rich, you are more likely to make bad financial decisions and lose a lot of money. In this video, we'll talk about why. I'll talk about why people like Warren Buffett, people like um, Jim Simmons or the other investors, you know, didn't actually get rich because they were investing their own money and what investments are actually meant to be. To be upfront, this is not an anti-investing video. For any given adult, it is extremely important for you to invest your money as early as you can, as often as you can, and to whatever degree you can afford. So this, I'm not going to sit here and tell you to not invest into real estate or stocks, assets, whatever you want to get into. What I am going to tell you is that you should not invest to get rich because the only people who can reliably get rich through their investments are people who already have a lot of money to put into their investments to begin. Take, for example, the S&P 500, which over the last 100 years has returned a 10% annualized return. This is really, really good because this would have kept your money much higher than inflation. But this means that to make a million dollars of your investment, you need to have $10 million to begin with. You'll not, you're not going to get rich with your $10 monthly investments. Similarly, this is true for even uh, much higher returns. People are talking about compound returns, etc. But to make any substantial money from your investment, you have to have a lot of money begin to put into the system. And of course, if you're there for decades on end, uh, then compound interest can really be a big factor and improve your financial situation a lot but what uh, that is not the message that a lot of these investment gurus peddle these days these investment gurus try to get you to buy their courses use their promo links to buy things etc to get their discord signals because they are trying to sell you this thing that you can make a lot of money now through investing and that's just factually untrue there have been multiple studies that show that people that try to actively invest money often lose it and a lot more lose than they win. Now, some of you might try to pause me here and say, yo, look at Warren Buffett, the ranch, look at Jim Simmons, look at the Wall Street friends who all make tons of money uh, investing money. So you're saying that you can't get rich by investing, but I know people who are getting rich by investing. To that, I will tell you a simple truth. These people don't rich, get rich investing their own money. They get rich investing other people's money. Warren Buffett might return a 15-20% annualized return, which is really, really good because the average is 10%. This is still not enough to make him a billionaire on its own. What this is enough to do is it's enough to convince other rich people to put their money in with Warren Buffett because they know that even if Warren Buffett charges them a very high fees and takes a cut of every profit, they'll still make more money through him than they would just going into the stock market blind on their own or investing into indexes, etc. And that's the secret, is that they're leveraging other people's money instead of using their own. Anybody that tells you that you can make a lot of money investing uh, without a lot of upfront capital or without decades into the market is either a fraud who doesn't, uh, who's actively trying to sell you things. These might be people like Andrew Tate, might be other influential figures you will see online, Grant Cardone, etc., who will try to get you to buy their courses, get you to come to their seminars, uh, join their Discord groups, or uh, whatever else uh, these guys peddle. Or these are people who might not be actively defrauding people, but are still financial influencers, so they have to sell you a certain lifestyle, sell you a certain image, so that you keep clicking back on their videos, you keep giving them the ad revenue, you keep giving them the sponsored videos, and when you're not able to make this money, you lose money gambling, etc. Or you lose money trying to keep up with these guys. They, you'll go back to their videos because you'll be like, oh, what did I do wrong? And then that, keeps, that creates a vicious cycle. 
Unfortunately, these tens of messaging tends to impact the poorest and the least financially literate people the most, which is why it's very, very important to get this message out there, to get more people aware of this stuff so that they're not getting caught by these scams. We will be looking into uh, the psychology of money, social media messaging, etc., um, and how different messages can be harmful. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, uh, make sure you follow, and I'll catch you later. Peace.